Was ist Desinformation? Darüber diskutierten Wissenschaftlerinnen, Journalistinnen und Politaktivistinnen aus Mittelosteuropa in Tutzing. Uh, I'm Dela Bankowskaite, uh, coming from Vilnius, Lithuania. I'm uh, professionally or background is I'm a lecturer at uh, Vilnius University, as well as I'm non-resident fellow at uh, uh, senior non-resident fellow at CEPA, Center for European Policy Analysis, Washington DC based, as well as I'm cooperating with the CEDU, another abbreviation, CEDU Swedish Defense University, focusing on the Baltic security and safety. In our information space, we, we recognize a lot of hostile information. And uh, hostile information that we call disinformation mainly aimed at uh, hurting the society. Not uh, constructive criticism is always welcomed but constructive criticism. When uh, information is, in, is meant for subversion, disruption, sowing mistrust among society without offering solutions or suggesting and leading to other dialogue, but rather the encouraging confrontation, this is what we qualify in Lithuania as, uh, as disinformation. And uh, we as a state, as a society, monitor that. So it's, it depends what is the current situation and then immediately it is employed. We have the context of the COVID, of pandemia and also the task of coping with COVID. One of the way of coping is vaccination. And there are, of course, movements of uh, those who believe the anti-vaccine people that don't uh, agree in principle uh, to be vaccinated. And uh, the country copes to prevent the new wave of, uh, of COVID. And there are some restrictions uh, introduced uh, to those who are not vaccinated in, uh, in uh, behavior movement in uh, public areas. So, uh, uh, in addition, there are then, uh, the, like, Last Friday, Friday was yesterday, uh, uh, like uh, yesterday there was a huge meeting uh, of protest uh, organized, uh, the second meeting where they were protesting for, for some restrictions, again uh, restrictions for those who are not vaccinated, consciously not uh, vaccinated. And uh, that is combined, then immediately somebody infringes, uh, makes a jab into of this malign uh, uh, information about uh, illegal migration, uh, concerns and distress that because this is a different religion, so these are uh, IS uh, coming, ISIS, uh, etc., etc. So it's just use the imagination and use this uh, very favorable so, uh, uh, field. Um. It, it is usually anti-Western narratives. First of all, anti-NATO. And uh, since Lithuania has a NATO battalion station deployed in Lithuania, and it is German-led battalion, uh, you can only guess or imagine what uh, disinformation waves, depending on the uh, events, calendar events, uh, how the Germany and German um, uh, soldiers, troops are, are described. Uh, so another narratives are anti uh, anti you uh, you've been to, uh, is it good to be to be managed by by another another capital like brussels uh, by people uh, another narrative is uh, failure domestic failure it's as always this is the most sensitive any problem governors problem or even mistakes governments politicians of course do make mistakes we are not a perfect society Uh, but that is always used as an argument to prove that, look, you are failing, you are not really a state. And of course, the very sensitive thing is uh, history, control of the past, interpretation of the past. And instead of inviting to, to have a dialogue and be, have a, 
uh, ethical, uh, ethical dialogue about collective memories and experiences, and even uh, addressing the most sensitive uh, periods of, uh, of uh, Lithuanian history, like uh, Soviet occupation, like resistance, uh, Forest Brothers, fighters against Soviet occupation, Holocaust. It's, uh, it's, it's still, uh, it's still try to argue and abuse it and to provoke emotions because history is part of your identity. It's based on trust and individual context that you really mobilize for a, one or a particular issue. It might be monitoring, debunking, it might be education, media literacy. Also, I think a very important factor is uh, media. Uh, it's great that uh, quality uh, journalism is back in demand, or it's in fashion, back in vogue. Uh, um, uh, and it becomes a good tone uh, to have an investigative journalism or research journalism. And more and more there's an idea that reporting is okay, but it's not enough, that this hybrid uh, uh, challenges uh, should be again met or responded in a hybrid way. So the hybrid journalism, if I may say, it's also uh, welcomed when there's not only investigation, not only debunking, but also to some extent educating, that is giving the contextual understanding for the reader what's really happening. So I think that helps a lot does not mean that we are resilient, like, you know, shields up and all, all bullets uh, are just bounce back. I would say then uh, we have to use this term uh, anti-fragility, since we are fragile societies, but we at the same time, since these are societies, so we so socially grow and learn, and if we make mistakes, it's so important to correct them and to, to be more, more stronger, more anti-fragile, step by step. Uh, at, uh, the most important thing for, for Lithuania is um, really to know your own, our own identity, to, to focus on who we are and be very comfortable with, uh, uh, with, uh, with who we are and be able to define it in a nutshell. And moreover, um, uh, it's important also to see younger generation, as I say, Generation Z, millenniums, of course, who are already in uh, decision-making positions and very soon they will be the leaders and that generation. So they have to be comfortable and have a, a, a quite a strong identity. Value system, which is value compass is there, but also the identity uh, in order to be able to make uh, decisions and to lead. Because at the moment, sometimes I think the the worst thing might what ha might happen that uh, politics is uh, uh, managed admini as administration. It's not about generating leadership and not generating initiatives. It's so important also to 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 lead by uh, making policy and politics. So uh, so this is where very important to know where you want to be, and you can know when you, where you want to be when you know who you are, really know, and you live it. Naive, is it my thoughts are naive? But that's, I think, the only way. So it's education, grooming, grooming, grooming society as such.